In this instruction video, we will discuss different types of validity in relation to laboratory studies, studies where the environment is under the researcher's control. Laboratory studies generally have high internal validity, but some researchers think of laboratory studies as trivial or unnatural. In this video, we will examine these concerns. Let's start with internal validity. The degree to which the design of a study allows to draw causal conclusions. The laboratory facilitates random assignment to the various conditions, but also the control of external influences. The manipulation of independent variables is also easier in a laboratory setting because of the control a lab setting offers. All of these aspects maximize internal validity. So laboratory studies generally have high internal validity. Construct validity refers to the extent to which variables truly match their intended theoretical constructs. Construct validity might be the most difficult type of validity to assess in laboratory studies. At times there are no problems in capturing the intended construct in a laboratory, yet the setting can carry some specific risks. Construct validity is often indicated by experimental realism, the extent to which the manipulations or measures are truly perceived in the intended ways by the participants. A related term is Munden realism, that is, how closely the procedures and materials in the laboratory setting approximate the real world. Some argue that laboratory studies are not very strong with respect to Munden realism. Suppose we want to investigate the effect of low self-confidence on negotiating skills. Before the negotiation, participants are given extremely complicated instructions to make them confused. The instructions will be repeated, but still in a too complicated way, so that they still don't understand. This will lower their self-confidence. After this manipulation of self-confidence, the participants take part in a computer simulated salary negotiation. They are asked to select a counteroffer from one of four options or agree to the offered salary. Of course, this setup does not approximate a real salary negotiation with a face-to-face -face meeting and nonverbal behavior where substantive arguments are used. So this laboratory study can be argued to have a low Munden realism. But this low Munden realism isn't necessarily bad, because it does not imply low construct validity or low experimental realism. In a lab setting, researchers try to find an experimental translation of the phenomenon as it occurs naturally. In real life, People wouldn't become less self-confident just based on some subtle statement about their intelligence made by a stranger. But in the laboratory setting, the experimenter is in a position of power and the participant is more likely to feel judged and vulnerable. So this manipulation might actually be a very effective way to induce lower self-confidence. In other words, the experimental translation might be very different from what happens in real life, but that doesn't mean that within the lab setting the construct isn't adequately manipulated or measured. So to summarize, laboratory studies often have high internal validity. Some argue that laboratory studies have low mundane realism, but that does not imply low construct validity.